A week ago on this channel, we were live talking about the fact WWE shocked everyone and released Bray Wyatt. The thing is, you've seen it on social media. People who don't even enjoy the Fiend character understand how it's appealing to other fans and how Bray is so genius for coming up with such a complex story. And the shock of his release has been talked about every day since. No matter what character Bray Wyatt played, he was the one person who could always get a connection with the WWE universe. Hell, during the pandemic era, he was contributed to be one of the faces of that era. And I've taken a week knowing since last week that this was WWE's biggest mistake to really think about why it's their biggest ever mistake. And I know why. If you are a WWE superstar, you crave to be the very best. You want the paycheck. You want the championships. You want the fandom. You want the shocks, the reactions, and you want the electricity that runs through the WWE fan base. It's what wrestlers have always wanted. It's why Undertaker today is on a 15-year contract and he's never likely to wrestle again. And that contract is the biggest contract in the company. He deserves it. And in 2020, Bray Wyatt signed a new deal with WWE worth more money because as you become more popular, as your character and stock within the company increases, they have to increase the money they pay you to retain you. It's very simple business. And after a 12-year WWE run and multiple world championships, and at the time Bray Wyatt was telling a story that was probably the most complex in wrestling history and one of the most popular characters of the recent times in WWE for sure, a merch-selling machine, Bray got that bigger deal. And that is what led to the downfall. It's what happened to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman during the pandemic era was a big name. They renewed his contract for more money. Then they cut him. And the outpouring of support from other WWE superstars has been telling. Bray Wyatt was a locker room leader and friend to many of the people backstage. But if you are backstage at WWE, if you are an up-and-comer superstar like Karrion Cross, do you want a breakout moment? What about Liv Morgan? Liv Morgan isn't on a massive WWE deal. That's what's rumoured anyway. But if she had that breakout moment and they paid her more, is that horrible? Matt Riddle right now seems like he is on a rocket ship on Raw. One day he looks like he'll be a world champion. Does he want that? The same logic can be applied to Nikki Cross. Her merch sales right now are low because they don't have anything for her brand new character, Nikki Ash, yet. But when they do, those merch sales, especially with kids, could be through the moon. She could be the next fiend in the sense of merch sales. And they're going to have to renew her contract to retain her. And we see how that worked for Bray Wyatt. That higher contract actually was probably what led to his downfall when they came to cut costs and what they used as the excuse, budget cuts. Is there more to Bray being released? Yes, I think so. But at the end of the day, all we can do is speculate on what WWE tell us and have told the wrestlers as confirmed by Sean Rossap. So if everyone thinks this is budget cuts, who's next is the question. And let's be fair, WWE fans are not forgiving right now. On Twitter, hashtag we want Wyatt and hashtag rehire Bray Wyatt are still being used a week later. It's unlike anything before. And right now, AEW are set to change wrestling. They are about to give fans something they've wanted for a long time. And releasing someone like Bray Wyatt at this time, who's got a 90-day no-compete, but if he shows up again, well, it's a total own goal from Vince McMahon, like it was in the Attitude Era. When the NWO showed up on WCW, the popularity of WCW, the coolness, the edginess, 
increased. And they beat WWF in the ratings for months. Until finally Vince was able to find a formula that worked. And some fans will say it won't be the same with him not being the Fiend character. Because that's an owned license by WWE. But Bray Wyatt's story can stay the same in AEW if he chooses to do that. There is so much history with Bray Wyatt and other AEW wrestlers. That you got to sit there and wonder... Is he going to just continue the revenge story in a different way? Maybe just as Bray Wyatt or as Wyndham Rotunda or maybe just Rotunda. It's very possible. And if that story and that continuation can continue from the WWE, you have an instant connection with every single person that supported Bray Wyatt in the WWE. The same people who made Bray Wyatt a merch selling machine. The connection with the fans is there and the fans will follow him. And if AEW can make a hundred million dollars off of merchandise, well, maybe they can invest that in their own roster retaining talent they want to keep and of course hiring new talent as and when it becomes available the names that people would want to see and while the wwe superstars are uncertain about their future there is a bit of certainty in AEW. dub so maybe they don't renew their contracts and they head there too making releasing bray wyatt the biggest mistake this senile old man has ever made if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just really cool to see what you think if, of this big release of Bray Wyatt from last week. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and follow me over on Twitter at CWrestlingUK. If you haven't already, make sure you go and check out Things You Might Have Missed, Smackdown from Friday. It was a definitely a fun, different video to make. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always next time. Peace!